Hello friends, welcome back to Momentum Stocks. In this video, we are going to discuss about Nifty, Bank Nifty and we are going to discuss about one strong and one weak stock for tomorrow's trading session that is going to be 9th of April friends, Tuesday. In yesterday's video, I told you that we would be looking for only buying opportunity in Nifty, Bank Nifty. No selling is what I told you until a particular level is crossed and that's exactly what we saw. There was one small dip here, a double bottom formation and straight to lifetime high friends. At lifetime high, there was very good profit booking, came down till here and again became sideways. If you look at it carefully, this start was somewhere here, 48,700 and end was somewhere at 48,680. So if I am moving to about one day time frame, you will see a candle which is having a upward wick and a downward wick it's called a doji candle okay i just want to make it very clear that it's a doji candle that was formed today now if you're looking at this fibo which i'm drawing from recent bottom here to top okay did it touch the 23 28 point 23.6 levels yes it touched and again took proper upward momentum what do we see now we see a possibility of breakout like this after this breakout again the high will be touched and probably a new all-time high can can form when will we sell we are looking for only buying opportunities even now friends this big candle that came was just profit booking okay good possibility that it can be completely reversed tomorrow early in the morning now if in case you see that previous day's low okay the doji low, which is somewhere here that also is crossed okay that's when there is a good possibility of a downward momentum okay whenever there is a doji candle like this okay if the bottom of the doji candle is crossed and it goes further down then there is a possibility of it to go down however what is important here is even after the doji is closed even if it is crossed here there is a 38.2 levels which can act like a support at this level there is also a small support zone this area even at 50 percent level there is another support zone so good possibility that it can take support at any of these levels and continue its journey upwards friends will we buy at the top the answer is no if you are buying at the top make sure you have a small stop loss and a big target that's how you would be planning on buying at the top otherwise our entry levels are very clear 23.6 levels which is 48,634 and 38.2 levels which is 48,000 497 and 50% level which is 48,397 a scalp trade can be triggered at the break of the doji the downwards yesterday's low is crossed that is when if there is a gap up and yesterday's high is crossed then it starts falling and crosses yesterday's low which is here that's when we can scalp for 38.2 or 50% level depending upon the momentum that it is doing at that particular time frames talking about nifty we talked nifty also positive we did not even talk about selling nifty that's exactly what happened it continued to go up and when this kind of a upward wedge happens there is a good possibility of a breakdown and that's exactly what happened if i draw a fibo from recent bottom here today's bottom to top the breakdown was exactly 38.2 that's where it touched and again took support towards the end of the day there was a left shoulder a right shoulder and a head formation there was a good retracement like this this particular trend line was touched now if it continues to move above this you will see a new all time high once again tomorrow friends when will we sell in nifty we will sell in nifty after crossing 61.8 levels that is at 22,681 we will see a proper breakdown there and if there is a retest that's when we will go ahead and sell these levels will be our sell levels when the breakdown happens only then until then we are still bullish on both nifty and bank nifty talking about ntpc ntpc was our buy stock that was given in the previous video and you have seen ntpc gave a proper breakout like this a retest like this okay and after the retest it continued to go straight up i gave you three to four reasons in the yesterday's video to buy ntpc those who have not watched yesterday's video can go watch the video for clarity on it now retest happened exactly at 11 30 friends 
any entry triggered at 11.30 in call option at the money at that time. 11.30 is somewhere here. 6 rupees and 90 paisa became double. 13 rupees and 55 paisa towards the end of the day. So that is the kind of momentum that it gave in last or after 11.35 to 3.30. Huge momentum. Coming to weakness. We, so we talked about HUL to be weak, Hindustan Unilever. If you leave the first half an hour friends, okay, till 10 o'clock. After that entire day it was falling in spite of Nifty Bank Nifty going up. It continued to fall entire day. Did it really cross the bottom? The answer is no. We are still bearish on it. We would see a breakdown possibly of this trend line. This was the breakdown, a retest. Breakdown, retest and a fall happened. Now you can see another breakdown like this. I will draw this trend line for you. See, this was your breakdown and retest and a fall. Again a retest has happened. Again it can continue to fall and it might take a small retracement here and fall till the next bottom which is here. When will we avoid this stock? We will avoid this stock if in case the top is broken. That's how we would be trading in HUL. Those who want to be very safe in this trade can wait for this particular breakdown like this and then enter in the trade for a downward momentum. Is this our sell stock for the day? Not really but yes this stock looks weak to us even now. Coming to our weekend strong stock for the day, we are looking at HDFC bank to be strong. If I am drawing a fibo from this triple bottom here to the top which is here, we see that it has, take, it has gone till almost 38.2 levels. That is where we can also buy or if you see any breakout of this particular line, yes you can buy 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3 can be your target, a small stop loss possibly at the 38.2 levels will trigger 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 targets friends. That's what we would be looking at HDFC. Weakness is something that we are seeing in LTIM. LTIM if you are drawing a FIBO from recent top to the bottom, you have seen from 38.2 is what it is coming down. What we also see is it has formed a high, a lower high, another lower high, another lower high and a lower high. A low or lower low, another lower low, another lower low and a lower low. With possibility it will continue to fall. First target would be here. Next target will be further downwards. 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 is what you can plan in LTIM also. So that's all for today friends. If you are liking the video do hit the like button. Before I forget yeah this is one more reason that we can sell. See this is your breakdown followed by retest. Retest was very huge and a fall. Okay. So this is also one of the reasons. If you are liking the videos do hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you have still not subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching and wish you a profitable tomorrow.